Yo, what up, guys? How you doing? Adam here from Adam's Point of View, Bay Area photographer. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm bringing you guys behind the scenes with me to an engagement shoot that I did in San Francisco at City Hall. We also went to a bar where I think we got some straight bangers. Anyways, let's get into this, man. Yay! All right, now that I got the computer all loaded here, you guys can see me in the bottom of the screen. Um, this is Jacob and Melissa. We did our photo shoot together, their engagement session. Uh, they're actually getting married later this year. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry, later this month uh, in Mexico. So we did their engagement shoot. They're friends of mine. Um, known them for, or I've known Jacob for a while now, and I actually just met his fiance that day. So um, I met them at the main floor at City Hall, and I kind of broke down the game plan. We kind of did a small little tour pretty much just around City Hall just to kind of show them different spots that I like. And uh, this is pretty much where we started. I found this really nice staircase, and I wanted to just, you know, get them warmed up. They didn't really need much warming up because they are very good at posing. So I wasn't too worried about that, but I still like to just warm myself up, warm them up, and kind of just get them used to being on the other side of the camera. So, um, but actually, I'm sorry, before we even dive into that edited photo, these photos have all been cold. So I have about 270 photos that made it to this process. Um, before that, there was maybe about 500 that I got down to 270. So now you'll see um, some of the photos have like a flag. I'll show you right here. See on the bottom, they got this little flag and some don't. So I went through this 270 and I picked all of my all time favorites that I absolutely love. And that's what I send to my client. So I already did this earlier. So make this video a little quicker. So filters, I go to flagged, boom. And so I took that 270 down to 139. So these are all the flagged images that you guys are going to see. So, like I said, this is our warm-up spot. We started right here at this um, at the staircase. I really like this staircase and how this photo turned out. I feel like that that little rail is kind of like leading to the couple. So, really like this shot. Um, and when I'm doing this, you know, obviously they were really good at posing, but I do give a lot of prompts when I'm in my sessions, um, just because a lot of people don't really know. How to pose that's like a big thing a lot of people are scared with posing and like that adam we don't know what to do we're awkward in front of the camera guess what surprise me too everybody's pretty awkward in front of the camera honestly um you just kind of got to get used to it but i think what really helps is creating a relationship with your photographer that way you feel really comfortable with them while they're got this big old camera in your face like all right smile kiss like it's important to build that relationship so First photo, boom, love it. Uh, here's this another angle of them on the stairs, uh, on the staircase, on the rail. Um, I just, she's kind of doing her thing. I'm just kind of giving them prompts like, Jacob, look up, look at each other, look this way, look at the camera. So this is the one that I like the most from that sequence. Um, here's, you know, the traditional him behind her, holding her, um, give her a kiss on the shoulder. Love how this photo turned out. Um, and actually, Here's a black and white photo. So I like to include a lot of black and white images when I send galleries um, when they want them. And the reason why is it really kind of like changes the vibe. I don't know about you guys, but for me, like when I see color and then I see like a black and white, like the vibes are totally different. So I love doing um, black and white to kind of just mix up the gallery. And actually, there's something I wanted to point out here that um, Melissa did really well here. So if you look at her hand, she has like this hand positioning and I actually that's something I learned at a um, photography uh, class um, with a photographer uh, Michael Anthony and he was talking about how you have to have like the females hands like look more soft so having like gentle hands so she crushed that good job rocked it um, let's see another photo of them looking at each other love this shot it's very more of a candid instead of like my posy shot. Like there's the posy ones where I'll set them up, shoot it, and then there's like the more, all right, look at each other, smile, laugh. That's how I get these kind of candid in-between moments. Um, next, I got them walking down the stairs. Love this shot. I always get a little nervous, to be honest with you, just because I'm kind of scared they might slip, but I wasn't worried about it because I know Jacob could probably catch her if she fell. Right, Jake? Anyways, next shot. Um, this is them right here. Hey guys, stop, look at each other, give each other a kiss. Boom, nailed it. Um, I always like to get a couple variations. So at this point I had them stop and then I was like, hey guys, come back up the stairs. So I really like how this shot looks too. It's very cool, good job. Um, 
here goes another shot that may look a little bit blurry to you. In fact, it is blurry. Um, I, this was pretty much my goal for this shoot, uh, was to include a lot of these kind of blurry cinematic kind of motion looking shots. I feel like this is getting really popular right now and kind of trendy. I'm seeing a lot on Instagram and other photographers are doing it. So I wanted to give it a shot and um, the client also really wanted some of these. She had sent me a mood board and um, yeah, these were kind of what it was filled with. So I wanted to make sure I got some of those for her. This is just them looking at each other on the staircase. Another one, motion, hey, give her a kiss. I always say, put your nose in her ear. And that always starts making them laugh because they're like, what, nose in the ear? Is this weird? And they start laughing. Walking down the stairs, of course, and a little blurry action again. Oh, I like this shot. So if you remember in that staircase, uh, there was like a railing, little guard thing, and it has like all these little nice pieces of metal. And I kind of wanted to have them at the bottom just together while I shot through it. So... I really like how this shot came out. Looks pretty cool. Oh, and it's in black and white. Duh. Um, okay, next shot. Ooh, the window is a city hall. Okay, so love these shots. This is like a Mando every time I go to city hall. Um, this time I decided to have them backlit and I have them both kind of just leaned up against the uh, little uh, wall there. And um, hands again, she did a great job placing her hands. Jacob did a great job hands in his pocket, hand on his jacket. I always like for hands to be doing something. For the photos, it looks the best. This next one, he killed it. Look at, hey. So this one's pretty dope. Uh, looks like Jacob's about to button his jacket and he's about to head on out to work. Mel, great job, nice smile. Black and white. What do you guys like more? Do you guys like color or black and white so far? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> All right, more of the window. I'm gonna kind of fast forward it here just a little bit. All right. Another window shot. This is probably one of my favorite shots of the entire shoot. I don't know, it just gives me like movie vibes, right? You could see this being like a thumbnail or the back of like the the VHS, you know, the back, the backside. I can see this picture like being blown up, with the little text fire. Black and white too, love it. Um, I had them looking at each other. Guys, bring your faces closer together. Maybe just looking at each other. I always say like right before you kiss, so like bring it right before you kiss, and then I usually have them going for a kiss, depending how they're feeling. Love this shot here. Um, I want to take a second real quick and kind of show you guys some before and afters of kind of what the photo looked like to where I got it, right? So let me just actually do this now. So let's pull up develop. Let's split this before and after. So this is how I shot it, and this is how it came out with the edit. Pretty fire, right? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I really like this look right here too, very natural. This is just that signature APV look, you know, so I had to put that on there. All right, next, let's go. Oh, let me get out of develop so we can move a little quicker. All right, here we go. Um, nose to ear, there it is again. And she's showing her engagement ring. So that's an important thing to think about when you're photographing as well, if, especially if it's an engagement shoot, you wanna show the engagement ring, hello. Boom, look at each other, more window shots. All right, we're using the hallway. Love these shots. As you can see, City Hall is like beautiful. It's like, if you've never been there, you gotta check it out. It's it's really dope. Um, a lot of like marble floors, super elegant kind of vibe. So I always suggest for my couples to come formal. It looks best inside City Hall. So guys dance with each other. Always like these kind of candid shots. Ooh, more blurry action. This time showing the feet. She had some really dope shoes. You'll see them in photos later. Hand shot, a little bit of a detail shot again. A little bit more on the blurry side, but like I said, that was kind of the goal with this shoot. Motion, dancing. Motion, dancing. Black and white, blurry, shooting in towards City Hall, having them closer towards like the middle. Love that. Color, you know I had to have it in color too. Great job. Um, here goes them, dancing still. Looking at each other. Ooh, more details. Her dress was fire too. Really cute. Detail shot of the dress. Detail shot of them looking at each other, dress. What I really liked about this shoot too, and what I like to do with engagement shoots, is I like to for the photo to be like obviously you have a couple of posed ones but i also like for it to be 
you being able to feel like the emotion in the photo, right? I know as cliche and corny as that sounds, like I'm being honest, like you know those black and white ones are the ones where they're looking at each other. You can feel the love, right? That's what I like. Boom, still more hallway shots. Okay. Here goes some more walking ones. Got them walking. Great outfits. Crushed it. Okay, these are getting a little spicy. We found a little... There's a section in City Hall where there's like these little water fountains. And I was like, just go in there. It had nice walls. So I just kind of tucked them in there. Did some kind of photos of them together. Love it. There's her shoes there. Dope. We got like these little flowers. Intimate. Intimate. Black and white. Feel the vibes. You feeling the vibes yet? Is anybody feeling the vibes yet? Just me? Um, okay, here we go. More details. Love this shot. This also is like editorial or something. This is joint. This this joint is sick. I can see this on a Vogue magazine. Vogue, what's up? Mm-hmm. Emotion. Emotional damage. <laughs> Black and white vibes. Ooh, elevator shot. One of my uh, friend photographers, uh, Jess, um, Jess Bauman, she um, did a photo shoot recently at City Hall, and she did some shots in the elevator, and I was like, dude, I gotta try that, so try to have a couple elevator shots. Let me show you guys some before and afters. Look at the lighting in here. Look at how this looks. Look at that edit. Amazing. Amazing. All right, we back. Elevator, elevator action. Love this one too. Black and white. If I could shoot a whole wedding in black and white, that'd be so cool. Anybody want an all black wedding gallery? Black and white wedding gallery? Let me know. Love this too. Elevator doors closing. This is giving me like Jay Z Beyonce vibes. Like they're they're going up. That's where they're going. Going up. Look at this one. Album cover. Love the I love the straight lines in this one. What do you guys think about that framing? Not bad, right? I know. Got them seated. Love these kind of shots. These are always a lot of fun. Seated. Hey guys, look this way. Look at me, look away. Or one of you look at me, one of you look away. That's always a fun shot. Detail shot. Engagement ring, hello. I love these shots too, kind of from the top angle, kind of like uh, over his shoulder. Love these shots. Black and white. Oh, uh, I think this was my cover photo for the gallery I sent them. Love this photo. It looks like it's almost shot on film. I think that's like the whole thing with the blurry photos is like kind of like a shot it on film, cinematic kind of vibe. Another blurry shot. I know there's a lot of blurry ones in here. There's also a lot of clear ones, don't worry. Running up the stairs at City Hall. Oh, these are some of my favorites right here too. Look at that staircase, like just look at the railing. Jeez, great poses. You guys look opposite directions, love doing that. That's a bossy pose. If I got a bossy backdrop and a bossy couples, a bossy couples, boss couples, then um, opposite directions is definitely a vibe. Look at me, Jacob, look away. Jacob killed it with the fit too. You know how you know how I know he was serious? With the low cut socks. If you show up with those shoes and you don't got low cut socks on, we need to have a conversation. I mean, I guess you could do it. If you if you like going for that swaggy hipster look, you could do it. I might do it. Love this shot too. Black and white. Candid walking like they're on their way to go pick up a check details love it they wanted this shot kind of from the opposite side i didn't go all the way to the other side um but i shot it from like the staircase going down and they were pretty much on the right side of the building another shoot through and uh yeah, i'm gonna fast forward it actually so there's like this little museum area inside city hall where it has like a couple of little like, exhibits so wanted to take some photos in there I hadn't done it ever before so when I went to uh, the restroom uh, and like got water and all that stuff when I got because you have to enter through the back through the back as a vendor because you have to check all your gear 
um, I walked up the stairs and I went to the restroom and I saw the museum and I never think anything of it. And then when I was coming out of the restroom, I saw like people looking at it and I was like, man, that's like a museum. That would be a cool spot to take photos. So we took some photos over here. They have like this huge wooden little Golden Gate Bridge thing. Pretty dope. Here's them just kind of looking at each other. Love these shots with the little reflection right here. Woo! They're dope. Walking. Looking through the glass. Love that shot too a lot. Here's a funny one. He's sticking his nose inside the statue. Thought that was funny. We said that that nose looked like uh, the nose. Was it on Nickelodeon? Where they had like the big old nose? Yeah. So he stuck his finger in the nose. <laughs> All right. So that's it for City Hall. Let me show you one more. Black and white. Love that. All right. So that was City Hall. Hope you guys like those ones. We're going to go to location number two now. So for these photos, we went for a bit of a walk through San Francisco. Um, and we found this really nice bar. Uh, I won't say the name of it, but if you recognize it, you know what's up. So, here we go. We're in the bar here. They're ordering some drinks. I'm not going to lie to you. They did order me a drink as well. I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy, so, you know, they got me an oldie. I had a drink with them. You know, I had to. You don't not have a drink with them when you're walking around San Francisco and you're in this dope bar together. The bartender making them drinks. Who knows what she got? Does anybody know what drink that is? There it goes. That's probably why there's two glasses here. Hello, old fashioned. All right, here we go. Got them set up inside the bar. There was people um, already in the bar. That's why in this previous photo, you can see us at the corner. When they left, no one else was at the bar, so I was like, go in the middle. This looks a little bit more symmetrical. So move them to the middle and kind of just set them up in this position, had them had a couple of sips of their drink. And this is what we came up with. Love it. Have a sip, look at each other. Hold the hand with the ring, of course. Love it. Look at this action shot. Honestly, I love how the couple looks. <laughs> My boy over here is focused. He's focused. That's a good bartender. All right, look at the drink. Detail shots of the drinks shots more of them just kind of at the bar interacting with each other oh they did one of the arm cross drinking shots too <laughs> had to do that that's like a that's like a thing right like at weddings they always do that too well, does anybody know what that tradition comes from or why that is even a thing always wondered all right here we go got them looking at me holding the drinks now love these shots right here look at this one let's look at the bottles the lighting there was people, by the way, in there. There was like a family, like a group of friends of like 10 or 8 hanging out at the table. And they were like clapping. And they are just like cheering for us the whole time. So that was fun. Boom, more bar shots. They got her standing. Do a couple shots like this. Love how these turned out. Another black and white. Can you feel the vibes yet? Love these shots. These are some of my favorite ones. I love this interior setup too. My fiance kind of turned it on to me. Um, I forget what it's called. Crazy and colorful, I think is what it's called. But I mess with it. Heavy, heavy. So here we go. We're back. Got them on the couch. I'm shooting through these two chairs. You'll see me kind of frame them right in between these chairs. Yep, just like that. Perfect. Got them looking at each other. Hand placement. Love it. This one. Candid. Jake's looking out the door. Oop, he's looking out the door. She's looking at the camera. Making sure everybody's safe. Got them both seated up, right? Kind of towards the edge of the seat. Love this shot, too. More of them seated. Let's go to this one. She wanted to lay kind of back and put her head on his lap, so we did that on this couch. Thank God it was a huge couch. That worked out perfectly. And there was, like, nobody else on the couch, so that worked. Um, shot kind of from this angle, and then I went back to the front. Kiss on the forehead. Jake looking at camera. Love this shot. Very fire. No drinks, just them looking at the camera. And then I got some, like, further perspective shots. Just kind of show the room a little bit more. Now, these next ones are also some straight bangers. 
um, it's this little corridor that leads from this room that we're in back to that bar. Check these out. Boom! Fire. Really good posing. Really, really good posing. It's shapes. When you're like photographing, at least for women, that's always like shapes. You want there to be shapes. You don't want them to just be like straight like this. Like legs straight, arms straight. Like you see how she's like bending at the knee bend. Perfect. Great pose. Jacob, great pose. Hand in the pocket. Hand holding the drink. Got the eyes on lock. Good job. Both look at camera. Continue smiling. Love it. She switched up the pose here on me. I love how this turned out too. Super fire. Look at each other. Smile, laugh, have a sip. Mel, look at me. Inside this hotel, there's also like this other little room and we took some photos in there. I want to show you guys what they look like. So let me show you a little before and after this room. So this is kind of how I got the edit. But when I shot it, it was super yellow in there. So like, I like this vibe right here too. I really do. But like I said, I really wanted to just keep it kind of consistent with my edit. So I went with this edit right here. All right, let's see. Ooh, black and white vibes are back. Um, yep. Looking away from the camera. Love this shot too. This looks like a scene of a movie as well, for sure. I had her turn just a little bit more and kind of like flare her shoulder up like this with Jacob kind of looking into her eyes. I feel like it's a super cute shot. Black and white. Love these. Oh, and then if you look in the top, like right behind her head, you see like this. It's like a little mirror. So this next shot's kind of like blurry, of course, but it's like kind of a cool shot. Like look how it looks. It's actually just through the mirror. I really like how that turned out. I'm getting on my artsy stuff, you know? Got them seated in there. I like this statue right here, though. <laughs> I gotta get one of those. Black and white. I killed it on the black and whites right here. I threw in a bunch. Yep. Black and white. And um, a couple more black and white. Got them seated. I love the hand placement here. Um, kind of just ties the whole photo together. He's got his hand on her. She's got his hand on him. Love it. And pretty much that was it in there. We found some photos in this uh, this little staircase, and this was pretty much our last shots. So we ended with that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the engagement shoot that I did in San Francisco uh, with Jake and uh, Mel. And it was fun. Um, I really wanted to kind of try something different this time with this whole screen recording and video recording of me talking, kind of going through each photo. Um, I hope to do more of these in the future. Actually, I will do more of these in the future. Oops. Just keep the camera. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, thanks for watching. Peace.